Azure Lila, and I am a level one sommelier, and I'm very proud of that because I worked very hard for it. <laughs> I'm going to do a tasting on the Borrasca Premium Cuvée, the Brut and the Rosé. Join me as I have some fun and taste them and see what they're all about. Supposed to be silent and supposed to be fast. I wasn't silent at all. The premium cuvee, $24.99. The alcohol is 12%, which is kind of low, but expected for a sparkling. I'm a huge fan of their cava and their prosecco, especially the rosé prosecco. It's amazing. So this is their new bottle. This one, I believe, uh, contains grapes from France. Their cava from Spain. Their prosecco from Italy. Look at it, it's so pretty. Gold, yellow, you see the refined little bubbles. Of course, they're not as like active. It's not as effervescent as like a true champagne, but it's still sparkling and it's still beautiful. Oh, well, first of all, the aroma or the nose is inviting. Apricot and apple and celery and more it's like it goes away so fast the nose was so strong right when i first poured it and now it's either my nose or it's just the wine i'm actually getting some aromas thank god and goddesses oh yeah it's like light leather like a belt <laughs> i know it's weird golden apple almost baked apple I didn't expect to get baked apple. Almost the toasted almond feel. I'm getting apricot and apple and peach and a lot of fruit. White fruit, stone fruit, pear, celery, grass. Let's see what it tastes like. That is smooth and delicate and soft. It's like, it's like quilty fabric just traveled through my mouth. Man, the fizz level is perfect. It's like just below medium. The taste flavor, I would say, is on the light fruity side. You get an apple and pear and even like overly ripened apricot. Like you get some of that really like fermented apricot. I know that sounds weird, but a tiny bit of funk in there, but in such a good way. It's not like the glass makes the wine. That was the same palette I got as before. <sighs> and it still wows me. It wasn't just a mood thing. <laughs> it has the fruit, but you don't get so much of the fruit. It's not just like prominent fruit on your tongue. It's really just this like nice, somewhat crisp, effervescent smoothness. Um, pretty delicate. It's really impressive. Sparkling goes well with so many foods, pretty much any food. Salad and fish, chicken. Turkey. It's just super smooth, super delicate. It is really good. Away with you. The rose version. Let's see what it looks like. So it's actually really light and peach color. It's not even as pink as I expected, um, but oftentimes that's a good thing because when a rose, sparkling or not, is overly pink and vibrant, you know it might be either artificial or it's gonna taste super fruity and this isn't a bad thing if you like fruity that's awesome i honestly is it the glass i think it's the glass i'm not getting the aroma is it just me i'm gonna try it with another glass i'm gonna try both of them with another glass because this it's not working i don't smell anything a stemmed white wine glass i don't have an actual flute judge me I'm gonna try them in an actual glass, a glass that is a little bit bigger, because in the big ones, you can actually swirl it and you can get it a little bit of air, a little bit of oxygen, it opens up and the aroma enters your nose. Oh, and it's so pretty. Ugh, it's this peachy pink. Oh, I can see it even better in this glass. It's a peachy pink color. It's and I do get the aroma. Although the aroma is less potent than this one. 
Uh, yeah, aroma is really soft, like really light. It just means it's a really refreshing, light textured wine. Really delicate, a little crisp, but in the perfect way. Not super fruity, really light. You get some cherry. It's not tart, not acidic. It's soft. You get that just below medium fizz, which I love. Really soft and delicate and pleasant. They both have really long lasting finishes. This one's less crispy than the regular and the regular wasn't even that crispy. So, wow. You can pair that with anything. You can pair both of these with any foods and it'll be amazing. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, my name is Azure. See you next time.